you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video i'm going to be reviewing the newly launched lipsticks from odin's eye this is their kiss of a fairy lipstick collection there are six beautiful shades in two different finishes and i'm going to be reviewing the formulation i'm also going to be swatching all six on my lips today to show you them against my skin tone and i do want to thank odin's eye for sponsoring today's video it's so exciting odin's eye is an indie brand based in sweden and I just feel like they deserve a lot more hype because the branding, the concepts are so beautiful, so whimsical, but also the formulations are beautiful as well. And these lipsticks, you guys, I'm already so obsessed, okay? Like, I'm in love. So yeah, again, a big thank you to Odin's Eye for sponsoring today's video, and let's go ahead and jump into the review. So these are the beautiful lipsticks here. There are six shades, two finishes. We have the velvets and we have the cream. The velvets come in this beautiful nude packaging, and the creams come in a really pretty mauve packaging. So it's nice that you can differentiate between the two formulations if you were gonna pick up one from each formula. The packaging itself is stunning. It has a lot of gold detailing to it and even on the bullet as well. There's that imprint of these really cute fairies and flowers, very on brand with Odin's eye. Like the whole brand is very whimsical, fairy princess. And these are 13.90 euros and I converted that to about 17 US dollars. And the shades they initially launched with are so stunning and beautiful. I love how the shades go quite deep because I feel like a lot of times when a brand launches like a lipstick collection they will release a lot of light nudie colors and even for someone my skin tone that's quite light to medium I can't even pull off those type of shades so I can appreciate the shade selection they picked out they run very deep and they're just so rich and just pigmented I can see this on so many skin tones from very fair to very deep and I love to see that and also with the shades they picked out i feel like within the velvet formulation they have a corresponding shade in the cream formulation so whether you like a velvet finish or a cream finish they have a finish for you in that shade you know what i mean if that makes sense i'll put up the swatches here so it makes a little bit more sense and another thing that i want to note is that there is a little fragrance to the lipsticks i personally feel like it smells like grape candy but i did ask my boyfriend last night to have a whiff so that way we could pinpoint the scent and i could be more accurate for you guys and he smelled it and he said it didn't smell like anything so i don't know if i'm just like very very sensitive to scents and this smells like grape candy to me but he said it smells like nothing so so I guess just keep that in mind that there is a fragrance, but if you're like my boyfriend, then there is no fragrance. I don't know. I just wanted to mention that. But anyway, let's talk about the finishes. So we'll talk about the Velvet formulation first. If you guys have tried the ColourPop Velvet Blur Luxe Lipstick, I would say that's quite similar to this lipstick. I think the ColourPop one's a little bit more thicker and creamy, and this one leans towards the more velvety side. Um, and it's not really a bad thing that the ColourPop one is thicker and this one's a little bit more to the velvet side because this one I feel like would last a lot longer because it is less creamy than the ColourPop one. But nonetheless, it is still very creamy and very easy to apply. It's very smooth. It doesn't make your lips look dry at all. It feels extremely lightweight. Right now, I am wearing the shade Light Peach in the velvet formulation and it feels so light. You don't get that feeling when like something's so dry and your lips are like tightening up. Up, you don't get that feeling and you guys know me I don't really like a matte finish because of the drying aspect So I always find myself leaning towards formulations like this like velvets or satins because you can get that matte finish But without the dryness. So this is it for me. I adore this and this shade This shade light peach. Oof Oof You best believe this is going to be my new daily color like is it not just a Judy type of color? I adore this, but I love this formulation. I think it's just so easy to apply. And also the darker shade in the velvet line is not patchy at all. And I feel like typically with those type of like red deep wines, they can be quite patchy, but not patchy at all. They just 
they're just beautiful lipsticks. For the cream finish, this one is more of that traditional bullet lipstick finish where it's very satin and creamy and it has that shine. But this is just so hydrating on the lips. When I first tried this, it sort of reminded me of a more pigmented version of the Jessica lip crayons in a way. It's just the finish and the feeling that you get on the lips with this lipstick. It reminded me of the Jessica lip crayons. I love both. You can't ask me to choose one. It really depends on the day and the look that I'm going for. Like today, I would I wanted something a bit more matte, so I went for the velvet line. But maybe one day I would want something a little bit more shiny. I would go for the cream line. So I really just enjoyed these lipsticks a lot. And we'll go ahead and talk about each individual shade and I'll just sort of talk through them a little bit for you. So let's start off with the velvet finish and the shade that I'm currently wearing, which is a light peach and this is like a really beautiful mid-tone sort of rosy peach. I think it's like my lips but better but with a bit of peach in there. That makes sense. I think it's just so flattering against my skin tone. This is going to be my new go-to color for sure. I think it's just a very beautiful shade and I can see this on multiple skin tones. I can see this being flattering on so many skin tones like I already see it. This will definitely have to be one of my favorites for sure. And then we have the shade Red Cherry and this is a true classic blue red so it's that timeless red to have in your collection and recently I've been loving a good red lipstick I don't know what about it for some reason I feel like my hair looks a little bit darker like I didn't dye it recently but my hair looks a little bit darker and I just love a good red lip with darker hair I feel like it just makes the red pop and the red is stunning I mean you can't go wrong with a classic red and then the last shade in the velvet line is called fig jam and this one is more of like a deep red wine. It's a little bit darker than a uh, red cherry. I can already see myself wearing this one so much in the fall time or just when you want that like grungy rustic look. This is a beautiful lipstick to have. This one is one of the darker shades in the collection and it's not not patchy at all. And then in the cream line, the first shade we have is called Tulupa Kiss. And this one I would describe to be like a reddish brown. It's probably the equivalent to Fig Jam from the Velvet line. They are slightly different, but they do give off a very similar vibe. And this one applies on so smoothly, so pigmented, no patchiness. When it comes to darker lip colors, they can be quite patchy and you will have no issues with this one. Next up, we have Love. Jasmine. This one probably has to be my second favorite in the collection. It is quite similar to Light Peach where it has that sort of mid-tone orangey brown kind of color. I can see myself wearing this one so much as well like day to day because of that cream finish. And then the last shade we have here is called Brown Rose. It has like a very like sort of burnt like rosy undertone to it. It is stunning. I think the name describes it so well. Brown Rose is literally the perfect name. And this one as well, very flattering. I think all the shades are quite flattering. But yeah, that pretty much concludes today's video. That was my thoughts on the new Odin's Eye lipsticks and all of them swatched on my lips. I truly loved all the shades and you're definitely going to see me wearing them a lot more in the future. I'm obsessed to say the least. I do have an affiliated code with Odin's Eye now. If you guys would like to purchase these lipsticks or anything off their site, you can use my affiliated code Judy and I will receive a small commission from that. But no pressure at all. It's just there for you if you would like to use it. I would love to hear your feedback down below in the comments. Which shade was your favorite? Which formulation are you gravitating towards? Are you going to pick up anything from this collection? I would love to know your thoughts down below in the comments. And also if you guys did enjoy this video and found it helpful please give it a thumbs up I would appreciate it so much if you did and once again a big thank you to Odin's Eye for sponsoring today's video thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video bye